Hello and welcome to the tech update of this week. This is Salva. Huawei is going all out on Apple this time. Just a few days ago, we saw Apple unveiling the iPhone 16. Within some few hours, Huawei equally unveiled their latest smartphone, that is the Mate XT, making this phone the world's first tri-foldable smartphone ever to be released. I think this move from Huawei is not enough. Huawei is even more determined to take on Apple on yet another level by putting the Mate XT on sales in stores on 20th September, which is the same day the iPhone 16 will be made available for sales in stores. Already, iPhone sales have fallen in almost every market across the globe. In China, this fall is even much bigger. So what awaits Apple with the release of the iPhone 16? As Huawei is equally sending a clear message to Apple about their readiness to compete with them head to head, especially when it comes to the Chinese market. What are the key advantages Apple has over Huawei? And what are the key advantages Huawei equally has over Apple? Now let's dive deeper into this. By the way, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. Both the iPhone 16 and the Huawei Mate XT has catch the attention of tech lovers globally. When it comes to foldable technology, Huawei has really raised the bar by releasing the first ever trifold smartphone, offering users three different modes of usage. When folded, it functions as a normal phone, but unfolded gives the user a bigger display and extra functionalities. What really sets the Mate XT apart is the cutting-edge foldable technology Huawei is currently using, allowing the hinges of the phone to function extremely well. As at now, Huawei has already received close to 4 million pre-orders for the Mate XT. But there are other areas of concern for which I will be diving deeper into in today's update. Now, Apple also unveiled the iPhone 16, with Apple as usual making very few adjustments when it comes to the hardware of the iPhone 16. The new iPhone 16 has two buttons, an action button and another button specifically designed for the camera, as well as a new chipset for faster and better user experience. Apple is more focused on the improvement of the user software experience, rather than making changes to the exterior design of the iPhone 16. This approach by Apple, where Apple prefers to wait for technological concepts to mature before they adopt it into iPhones, in recent times has made tech enthusiasts around the world to wonder if Apple is really being innovative enough these days. In terms of pricing, the Huawei Mate XT price is twice the price of the current iPhone 16. One wonders why the Mate XT is costing this much. One can equally say that the price is as a result of the new folding technology Huawei is equally using, as Huawei will have to recover the huge investments they made in the form of research and development. For now, the challenge for Apple remains mostly in the Chinese markets, as the iPhone 15 saw massive sales decline in the Chinese market as a result of stiff competition from Huawei. Gone were the days where Apple enjoys strong demand in China, with almost every new iPhone launch event catching the attention of most potential buyers. But nowadays, Apple is seeing a fall in demand for the iPhone, with Apple falling from the third position to the sixth position in the second quarter in the Chinese market. Reasons being that Huawei was able to make a strong comeback to the high-end smartphone segment last year. At the global level, Apple is currently at the second position, while Samsung remains the market leader in terms of market share. According to data released by IDC, Huawei ranked as the world's largest foldable smartphone maker in the second quarter with 2.75% market share ahead of Samsung, with Samsung occupying 16.4% market share. So, with the release of the new Mate XT smartphone, we are likely to see this trend continue if all things remain the same. The major concern for Huawei has to do with the price of the current Mate XT smartphone, as the price is twice the current price of the iPhone 16. But one thing that is clear is the fact that we are about to witness yet another stiff competition between Huawei and Apple, especially in the Chinese market. But at the global level, 
things might look different. Do you think Huawei can continue to dominate the Chinese market or things might be rough for Huawei as well this time? Do you think Apple will be able to recapture their lost market share or things might continue to be rough especially in the Chinese market? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you find this content informative, kindly not forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. See you in the next one. Peace out.